Good day everybody. I'm going to be uh, showing you a pretty cool uh, two-player variant to the game Munchkin Marvel. Now this video is for people who already know how to play Munchkin Marvel. If you don't know how to play Munchkin Marvel, please feel free to click on the video link on the upper right corner. Um, now you can try this variant with some of the other Munchkin games um, and see how it works. Um, what this variant does is it tries to address um, the third person that plays this game. Obviously, the third person in this game plays a huge role, and without it, it kind of takes away from the game. So this variant tries to address that. Um, there's really only a couple of main differences that you're going to have to do. Uh, my wife and I already have a game in progress over here. Um, so anyway, um, the first thing you're going to do is after you deal out all the cards, you'll deal five treasure cards and five monster cards to each player. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, put five of the treasure cards in the middle of the table right here, like so. Now what this acts as, this acts as a market of sorts, and you can trade um, cards um, as you would in the game for the cards here um, in the middle. And the way we do it is um, if there is an ally over here, you can trade an ally for an ally, um, and you can also trade uh, weaponry as well. Uh, typically with the weaponry... Uh, there is a uh, money value on it. This is 200, this is 500, for example. So if you wanted to end up getting the Widow's Bite, you would have to play, play $200 worth of cards, put it in the middle, and then you could grab it. That's kind of the way we do it. Um, for the things that are like the uh, one hits, we can just do a trade of one hit for a one hit, etc. But we mainly do this in the uh, trading phase of the game. The second thing you're going to do is uh, in the beginning of the game, after you deal all the cards, you're going to deal th three monster cards um, to each player, and they are going to be put on the side. What you're going to do is, uh, say my opponent over there uh, plays a monster and she's about to beat it. Let's say I don't have any traps or anything like that in my, car in my hand. Right now, this is what I have. What you can do is, you will be able to pick up these cards right here, and see if there are any traps and monsters that you can play. This acts as the third player. So, for example, the third player could play these traps um, on this player and try to stop them. Now, the way we do it is uh, we just basically will just use those cards specifically just for the traps and for the monsters. We don't do anything else with them as far as the power levels and stuff like that. Those cards are invalid. We mainly only use the monsters and the uh, traps. And uh, after your turn, you're going to deal yourself an extra monster card and put it in that pile. Um, and that's basically the only differences that we've had. Um, right now, we got a really good game going, and this uh, variant seems to work really well. Um, one of the things it does is it gets out more of those uh, monster cards and gets out more of the trap cards because um, as far as trap cards go, um, there's not as many as there are everything else. So if you're doing a two-player game, you may only end up drawing, like, say, two or three trap cards or any other kind of red card. Um, but with this, you're going to have more of those cards available to you. Now, some options you can do with this variant, of course, you can tweak it however you want. Uh, you can change how uh, the cards get traded. You could say, okay, it's going to take you two allies to get one ally or whatever. Um, the way, again, my wife and I do it is uh, we trade an ally for an ally and then we just pay uh, for this, however uh, we can get it. And uh, for the monster cards, you could actually instill a rule saying you can roll for use of those cards. You could just roll and say, okay, if you roll odds, you will have access to those cards. If you have evens, you won't. So there's some things that you can tweak uh, with this. But So anyway, give this variant a try. And feel free to leave some comments in the comment section if you have any suggestions or, you know, what you think. But anyway, I hope you all do well, and I'll see you soon.